80 years ago, on December the 13th, 1937, the invading Japanese troops captured Nanjing and started six weeks of slaughter that was to be known as the Nanjing Massacre, or the Rape of Nanking. 300,000 people were killed. That's one victim every 12 seconds. Tens of thousands of women were raped and the city razed to the ground. Since 2014, December the 13th has been China's National Memorial Day for victims of the Nanjing Massacre. At 10 a.m., as sirens howl across the city, survivors, veterans, officials, and thousands of members of the public stand in silent tribute here at the Memorial Hall. The city comes to a halt. The nation takes time to reflect. So, why is it so important that China remembers the Nanjing Massacre? This is Shimwa Special, and I'm Helen Bentley. Japanese soldiers shot dead their bound, defenseless captives before throwing their bodies into the Yangtze River. Over 50,000 alone were killed here at Xiao Xiexia. This is the first time that the people were killed in the Yangtze River, and the Yangtze River was all over. Xiao Xiexia is one of Nanjing's 17 mass graves. Each year at this time, and around China's Tomb Sweeping Day, Piles of yellow chrysanthemums can be found across these sites, where the old come to remember and the young to learn. The Memorial Hall complex was built on a site called the Pit of 10,000 Corpses. Along this wall are the name of over 10,000 victims. Many of them, the bodies were never found. And these engravings are all that's left to remember them by. Three of his uncles were killed during the massacre. He and his close family took refuge in the safety zone. But later on, when it was raided by the Japanese, he was stabbed. Survivors like him are still waiting for an official apology. So I told the army to you, you can pay us a dollar. In 2015, UNESCO listed documents relating to the Nanjing Massacre on the Memory of the World Register, a step forward in recognizing China's sacrifice during World War II. You can't downplay how important it was for many Chinese especially as certain revisionists deny the massacre happened at all. It's my feeling here is that also uh, Japan must accept here the history here and uh, all the great qualities here they have done in Nanjing here. President Xi Jinping attended this year's service to pay his respects. A statement that he made at the very first memorial service still resonates today. He said, if only everyone learns from the bitter lessons of war, can there be hope for peace? Along this footpath are the bronze casts of 222 footprints left by the survivors. There are less than 100 known survivors alive today, most of them in their 80s or 90s, and it now is left to the younger generation for them to ensure that their stories are not forgotten. <laughs> You recognize the horrors of war and the terrors that happened here, but you also come here to heal, come here to move past that point. The city of Nanjing has risen from the ashes, and China is no longer the sick man of East Asia. In a time of peace and prosperity, it's especially poignant for China to remember the Nanjing massacre and to remind itself to stay strong. See you next time.